All right, this is PCC coach Pat McGee. Uh, PCC just beat uh, Long Beach 14 to five. Coach, you just won your third consecutive SCC series. Both of them two games to one, or all three of them two games to one. Uh, you guys lost the first game in, in each of the series. Um, how, how is how do you feel like after a, a loss? How do you feel like your team's recovered? What, what's good? What's bad? Sure, I, I think the kids have been really resilient uh, and they persevered during adversity. We've had some tough losses, no doubt about it. And when these young men stay in tune with what they're being asked to do, they can do really special things. Uh, Thursday was uh, you know, quite an experience, and you know, Max Blessinger's put us on his shoulders a couple times, and the same with Raider. And once they, uh, you know, they're a tough duo at the top of the order, and they set the tone. Even today, we didn't score in the first inning, but those guys come out and come with back-to-back -back hits, and it makes everyone else's job that much easier. Uh, but I I'll tell you this, again, this team shows resiliency regardless of the outcome that happened previously. And so to come back from these Tuesday losses just shows the character that they have. Um, so you you had three pitchers today. I think uh, Coleman went five plus, gave up a three run home or so, four runs. Can you talk about each of the three guys, what they gave you? Sure, uh, Coleman is a, he's a tremendous guy to have in the third game of the series. He pitches with outstanding tempo, so you always get the best play from your defense. He pounds the strike zone. Uh, whenever you do that at this level repeatedly, uh, young hitters will get themselves out. And you, and you saw today, you know, he gave up a, a couple home runs, but we'll take that from Coleman because he, he does such an amazing job. And he also battles his way out of a couple innings. Oh, absolutely. He's a competitor. I mean, I mean, most people in this conference throw their best guy on Tuesday. Uh, and they, you know, the pitching staffs kind of break down as you get to the third game. We feel like Coleman matches up with anybody's number one. So, you know, to have him at the last leg of the series, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a big advantage for us. So. Okay, and then uh, Nico? Right, and then uh, we wanted to hurry up and get Nico back out there as soon as possible. We had a tough outing on Tuesday, but Nico's an integral part of this team, and he, he's going to be uh, in a lot of games that have a lot of adversity, and he's going to pitch some high leverage innings. So it was great to get him back out there. Again, you see his stuff is, is outstanding, and when he pounds the zone he's really hard to hit uh, we want to get Kyle in uh, Kyle again a strike thrower and you see when you make young men swing the bat um, you know the, the percentages are in the favor of the defense and so Kyle did a good job throwing strikes and got us out of here can you talk about uh, I think Max and uh, Max Blessinger and, and Matt Rice both had pretty good games offensively drove in uh, multiple runs each right. um, how do you feel like they contributed today well I mean it, it's not just today. I mean, Max, it's it's unbelievable the way this young man goes about his business. Someone's going to get a steal. Uh, his work ethic, his integrity, his character, all the intangibles that every coach says, you know, about young players. Like, he has them all, and then he's electric as a player. He has everything that you look for, the arm, the speed, uh, the most clutch at bats that I've been around in baseball at any level, whether it be pro guys, college guys, high school guys, uh, he he's unbelievable. He, he really locks in in the moment. And uh, again, it's not just today what Max did. It was Thursday, it was Tuesday, and the game that we lost, you know, Max had a game tying two run single in the ninth inning to extend it. And then the three run bomb to, to change maybe the, the direction of the season, you, you know, versus going down two yeah. games in this series against a team that's won the conference numerous years. Yeah. Uh, so we, Matt, Max is he's just incredible. Matt Rice, really proud of the work that he's done. Uh, Matt kind of struggled with the bat as a senior in high school. And to see the work that he's done since he's got here deserves all the credit in the world. He's really shortened his swing. Uh, you know, four hits today, I believe, and a walk. So he's had some huge at-bats at the bottom of the order, and he turns the line up over for Raider, for Matt. How do you feel he's doing? behind the plate oh he's, he's outstanding okay yeah, he's, a, he's a difference maker back there um, you know he, he he's good for a run or two a game defensively and the way he works and uh, yeah he you know this is the first time that we've gone back to back days with a catcher and, and Max uh, I'm sorry uh, Matt was a man was outstanding so uh, in most of the games Tello's just been off the charts insanely good right. he didn't necessarily have his greatest game but can you talk about so far like what are we are we halfway yet yeah well, today was game 20 okay what has he brought to your program? I mean, what, what were expectations, and how, has he highly surpassed them? Uh, well, I, obviously, you don't anticipate young men hitting 500, you know, halfway through the season. 
but, but I'm going to tell you, he's exactly what we need him to be and what we expected him to be. He's an outstanding player. He has all the tools. Uh, we're, you know, it's his first year playing shortstop. He's been a third baseman his whole life. But I, I personally believe that he has the skill set to hold down that position uh, at the next level. And then you throw in his game-changing bat. Um, you know, he's a difference maker, but uh, I don't want to say we didn't expect this of him, but, he, he, you know, he, he's a really good player. Again, another outstanding young And player. a high baseball IQ, right? Yeah, a high baseball IQ, yeah. Okay. Just, uh, last question. Um, what are maybe some things today that you took away from, I mean, so ups and downs, long game, this and that and the other, but what are a couple things maybe you might not see on the stat sheet but you were happy with? Yeah. So, so we talked to these young men about the, the South Coast Conference is a dogfight. Every series – every game and when you come out of high school you don't necessarily you're not accustomed to that because you're going to have some blowouts whether you're on the high end or the low end uh, but in this conference it doesn't matter who the opponent is you have to be ready to play every single day and i thought this week was the best job that we've done competing for 27 innings and then we had to play monday we had the rain out that we had to uh, finish the suspended game so we played 31 innings and then we went to extra innings on tuesday so the ability of these young men to sustain their energy their focus their attention to detail for the course of the week and having their first four games week of the year it's a big deal because now you're setting yourself up to prepare for a playoff environment okay